Hi there, it's Janet here from Green Urban Living. Um, I thought I'd make a very quick video on using formic acid as an organic treatment for Varroa in uh, your top bar hive. Um, this is a treatment that I've been doing for the last sort of year or so um, as an alternative to oxalic acid vaporising. Um, and it's got really, I've had really good results from a really good might fall from it. Um, it's a little bit labour intensive maybe, but I quite like how you, to um, put the chemicals in, you don't need to open up the hive, which is good for the, for the hive. So uh, I'll show you what I do. Now you need some equipment. You've got your formic acid, which is 65% formic acid. You need some acid proof gloves, which are easy to find in uh, hardware shops. You need some eye protection, that's really important because the acid, you know, it is, it is quite a nasty thing. You certainly don't want it sprayed on your hands or clothing, especially in your eyes. What I also always make sure I have is some water on hand. So if I did splash it onto my skin, I can quickly flush it away with some water. The other thing I use is some cooking spray and a piece of um, cool flute. This is just an old real estate sign that I cut up into strips. So first of all, what I do is I spray the cool flute with my cooking oil. So that basically makes it into a very quick and easy, cheap, sticky board. And then I've been using the um, sanitary napkins because I find that they're really cheap, obviously easy to find in the supermarket, and they hold a good 40 mils of the um, formic acid, which is what I use. And they come with a very handy ease of strip. So just peel that off, stick that on your sticky board, like so. And I pour the formic acid onto the middle part here. And I use 40 mils of 65% formic acid in the hive. And I will do generally about four treatments. Um, so I'll treat, um, come back in about three or four days time, check the mite fall and do another treatment. Um, and then if I still see mites falling, I'll do you know, another up to about four treatments. Um, and I'll either do that in early spring or in uh, my autumn treatments. So once I've got this all sorted, I put on my uh, gloves, acid proof plastic gloves. When you're working outside, you don't need to, I, well I don't use um, a, a mask or anything with the vapours, um, as long as you've got, uh, it, you know, you're working outside with it, then the vapours don't sort of hit you as much as oxalic acid does. Um, pop on your eye protection. And then I just use this really handy little dual chamber bottle. It's got little uh, calibrations on the side here, so I can see when I get to 40 mils. You loosen the, the top of this, and then I normally just hold it away from me, so I know it's not going to splash onto me, and I just gently squeeze the, the main bottle until I measure up 40 mils in the top chamber here. And then it's just a matter of very carefully just hold this up so you can see, pouring the acid onto the pad. Like so. And then I just slip it into the bottom board. Like that, and then I, and that, that is closed. Um, I keep the entrance open. Um, if you're doing this in a Langstroth, obviously you don't want to have any entrance re reducers or anything like that. Um, and then I'll leave it alone. Um, the bees don't seem to mind too much. They don't get as revved up as they do when I'm vaporising with oxalic acid. Um, but you do, you will find that they will sort of, um, a lot of them will come out of the hive and just be around the entrance. It's really important to only treat um, at a certain daily uh, sort of temperature. So you're looking at daily temperatures between 10 and 30 degrees. If it's a hotter day than 30 degrees, what happens is the, the vapours um, come out of the pad uh, quickly um, and so that the vapours in the hive get too high or all of a sudden that's when you can get um, drone uh, brood deaths and even queen deaths. So I always look at the weather patterns before I start treating my hives to make sure that you know the daily temperatures are 
are sort of in the you know low to mid twenties, not any higher than that. If you find that for some reason there's a you know a real high comes over and the temperature does go over thirty, just take the treatments out of the hive until um, the temperatures during the day drop. Uh, so I hope that's sort of explained to you how I do it. Very simple. Um, it's quite non-invasive, and um, as an organic option for treating for varroa, I think it's um, it's a really good good way of treating. Um, it's it's fairly easy to use. You just have to be you know very respectful and careful of the the acid. Thanks for watching. <laughs>